Hey everybody, welcome back to Just Keep Scuba Diving. Scuba Diving on a budget, where I try to help you save money and enjoy the sport of scuba diving at the same time. Now I do this by reviewing different things. Dive gear, dive software, dive sites, dive operators, dive hotels, uh, anything and everything that has to do with diving is what I do. I also drew some things such as the iPhone. I'm fixing to go and review the iPhone in the high wheel case against the GoPro. So that'll be coming up in the next couple of uh, videos. Anyway, before I get started in any of that stuff, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell because I'm coming out with some videos here every couple of weeks. Um, also, there will be diving at the end of this. You know, I, I've got some pictures coming up, but I don't really have a dive video on the end of this one. Um, today, at a more air dive resort, we're going to meet Mason. Speaking of saving money, he will, him and the ladies up front will help you at a more dive resort. They don't want you to go home broke. They want you to go home happy. Um, and they do this by, let's say you want to do three days of stay, but two days of diving. Well, do you want to do morning and afternoon or morning and afternoon and the next morning or morning and morning? How do you want to do that? It may benefit you to do a morning, afternoon, morning to where you got three dives and it may lower your hotel room. They have packages that I don't know about. I have no clue what's going on over there as far as financing and other, but they have packages for hotel rooms and diving together. They have dive packages together by themselves too if you don't want to go and stay the night there. But honestly, I can't find a good reason why you'd want to go somewhere else. Um, anyway, so today we're gonna to talk to Mason. He is our the office assistant manager and one of the dive first mates on the on the boat, a dive instructor, and if you need him to be, a dive guide. So who are you? My name is Mason Bodner. And um, where do you work? I work at Amy Slate's Amore Dive Resort. Do we... I'm the dive center manager, lead instructor, and the conservation coordinator. Okay. Um, how long have you been doing this here? Here at Amore, uh, three and a half years. In total? Total about seven, eight years. Different than anywhere else. Why do you okay. stay? Okay. Of course, we all find ourselves asking that question. Right. Um, why do I say? Um, it's a combination of one being uh, it's the atmosphere. It's the biggest thing for me. Uh, the atmosphere that we've created and the atmosphere our guests create and continue to create as they come back. It's a one of a kind experience in which I could take the phone call and book the reservation. I can greet them when they come in and check them in and I could be their instructor doing their course. There's not very many places where you get to do that in combination with a hotel. Um, and what that breeds is return customers and that's what our bread and butter is and we just love to see the same people year after year. Uh, you're the first person to mention courses. Yeah. Out of everybody. Um, what courses, what yeah, certifications? So, yeah, so our, our main thing we really do is uh, newer divers. Okay. Um, and what, we do all types of instruction, but newer divers is what uh, we do the most. Okay. Um, discover scuba diving, so divers that have never dove before, open water courses, advanced courses. Those are what we do the most. And what we really, I personally, speaking for myself, enjoy doing the most. To me, it's the most rewarding. Um, we see a lot of divers come and go, some good, some not so good. What's nice is to be able to create those divers and then when they go leave from here and go to another shop, they go and say, hey, these are good divers. Right. And that's what we uh, love to create. And not just the diving itself, but also being able to teach them about the environment. Um, I think that's another really, really, really important thing that gets lost on. I know when I was younger, when I was 12 and I got certified, I had no idea what a coral was. Right. Um, so I think it's really, really important to get them in the beginning and be able to go from there and not just teach them to be good, safe divers, but also understand what they're looking for. So have you worked anywhere else here in Key Largo? Not in Key Largo. Okay. What would you say is different here compared to the other jobs that you've worked at? Yeah, in I've worked in there? Key West. I taught at uh, Florida Keys Community College. I taught scuba diving and I do work closely with the other shops and I can tell you what we what we do differently and what some of the other shops also do as well um, is we try to keep it small we're not trying to have eight nine ten boats or anything like that we want our one maybe two another small boat so we can personalize that experience we, we could pay ample attention to each individual customer and give them the service they provide um, we do that from our guiding we try not to put more than four people in the water from our courses not more than four people so that you can get that experience uh, Back to the courses. Okay. Is it Patty now? Yes, we are uh, Patty. Patty. Star. Okay. 
So that was Mason. Now this is interview number one of two. Number two is going to be coming up next week because we get to talking about some things that don't necessarily have to deal with uh, the, the hotel. Pandas. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with some beautiful pictures that we've got. Some of this is from the, re all of it's from the resort and the dive site. And none of it is from anywhere else. But I'm going to leave you with these pictures and I hope you have a good day. Just keep scuba diving, scuba diving on a budget, and I'll see you out on the boat.